Hi, my name is Ari Simmons, Community Energy Specialist for South Sound Solar. And today we are in the beautiful South Puget Sound area, here to meet Dr. Brenda Butterfield, a mental health specialist at The One Center, focused on health and wellness. Hello. Oh, hello, Ari. Welcome. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Thanks for coming out. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Welcome to the One Center here on beautiful Gallagher Cove. I'm so glad you're here. We're excited to take a look around and see what amazing things you're doing here. Come on in, Ari. All right, thank you. So welcome to the One Center. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you. It was a garage until April of this year. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's kind of hard to believe, but it's hard for me to believe too. It's beautiful. Thank you. So this is the kitchen area for workshops and professional development seminars. Um, I offer a variety of health and wellness services here at the One Center. And I love my solar system. This is my battery powered backup system. This was already here, or was this something that you had planned to be a part of the One Center? No, no. Um, I didn't plan on the One Center. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't plan on the One Center? <laughs> no, it, it called me. It invited me. And um, so this whole thing is really about a new experience, which is what one stands for, is our new experience. And I love how wide open this space is so mm. that the nature is also invited into this space. Absolutely, yeah. Well, we are nature. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We, we tend are. to forget that. We do <laughs> tend to forget that. And so in the process of designing and figuring out how I wanted to best use the space, um, that was forefront in my mind, was to make it as seamless as possible from the inside to the outside. So of course, big windows, right? To supplement more active solar energy. I really wanted big um, windows on the south facing side of the building for passive solar energy. This is um, the, the center itself, if you will. This is where I provide um, psychotherapy or counseling services as well as professional development seminars. A lot of the work that I do is actually with mental health therapists and other healthcare providers. There's radiant floor heat in the slab which is really wonderful because I offer meditation classes, offer silent retreats out in the forest. Recently discovered the practice of forest therapy so I pursued training and I'm now a certified forest therapy guide. So you really do offer a full spectrum of services. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And they're all designed, right, to really help us reconnect with the land, with the forest, with the water as well. To remember, we actually are part of nature as well. So how is the One Center really aligned with sustainability and with the natural environment here? Mm, what a great question. That really is the focus of what I'm trying to do. So in addition to the solar power, um, that really is the primary source of heating and electricity for the One Center, which is fantastic because my electric bills are literally $9.80 a month. Love which... that. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Which is apparently the base rate, the lowest rate that you are charged. Um, so all throughout the day, I can hear the system turning on and turning off. It really reminds me that I am very much connected with the earth, with the life forces of the earth. Because when we're rushing about, we're stressed out, we're anxious, we're compromising the immune system function in the body. And it, it's not sustainable, whether it's our health or the resources from the planet. So learning how to slow it down. And as I watch the tide come and go, it's also a beautiful reminder of how connected we really are, how connected I am and want to be with, with the earth. So the way this all comes together, and I see this showing up more and more in my, um, the clients that I'm working with who are under, under the age of about 35, more of an existential depression showing up around the awareness that's arising for younger people about climate change and about the worldwide degradation of the environment and this overwhelming sense of what, what's gonna happen when I grow up, right? 
that piece, as well as feeling disconnected and too isolated from not only friends and family, but community and from, at the end of the day, the earth. So a big part of what I do and what I encourage and support others in doing is finding ways to get connected to other humans, right? To facilitate our own healing, to support our own health and well-being, to communities, and to the more than human world, to actually feel connected and grounded with our feet on the earth. I'm so excited to, you know, continue walking around the property and seeing yeah. how na the nature here really does mm. help with your teachings and help with your meditations. Absolutely. Well, and you know there's a burgeoning area of research about being outside and being in the forest and how it actually does support our health and well-being. The trees, right, the madrona trees, the grand fir, all these trees around us indeed are our friends. Um, I'd love to take you through the forest. Let's do it. Yeah. I would love to see it. So there are beautiful trails all throughout the forest and I have the wonderful opportunity and privilege of guiding folks through the forest on a guided forest therapy walk. I spend some time on the land, listening to the land, listening for where, where to start, where to be, where to finish. Um, so every time I guide a walk, it's different. It's an adventure. And forest therapy is um, based on Shinran Yoku, which is a Japanese practice that was really promoted and, and developed in the 80s by the Japanese government. When they started to notice a dramatic spike in cancer and autoimmune disease and chronic illness in the population, as a direct result of the technology boom and people spending far more hours inside than outside. So the government partnered with the Department of um, Agriculture and said, we need to find a way to really promote the health and well-being of our people. Is there a way that we can partner with our beautiful forests? Oh, we're having what I like to refer to as a leaf bath right now. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Oh, so a great deal of scientific research um, provides evidence now about how exactly being in the forest for a period of time, slowing down the body to sit, to rest, to just take in the medicine of the forest, to bathe here, supports our health and well-being. There's um, many, many benefits from it. Cardiovascular system and immune system functioning can improve dramatically. So th there wow. are little sit spots all throughout the forest. I want to dive yeah. in. Climb on in there. Oh, there's Ari. a little journal in here too. That's right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that it swings. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just leave me right here, guys. There you go. Wow. So there are sit spots, different chairs, different places to just rest and be here on the land. Folks will bring their lunch. They'll bring their journal and a book and just enjoy being here in the forest. It is, it just makes my heart so happy. I wear a variety of hats and play different roles in the work I do, but when I'm guiding a forest therapy walk, I'm not the therapist. The land is the therapist, and my job as the guide is simply to open the door. The most magical things happen for, for people when they're out here discovering right, what's in motion, which initially may appear as though nothing is in motion. And then you just stand and notice the ferns are in motion, the birds are in motion, the leaves are in motion, things are decaying all around us. Everything's in motion. We just usually move too fast to see any of it. My Graham is one of the wisest people I know, and in many ways she's been my spirit guide my entire life. Aww. And I just, I just hear her saying everything is happening and transpiring for a reason. For a reason. Mm. And even if it's not within your control, mm -hmm. 
it's still okay because it's it's for a reason yeah you know and that has always been really meaningful to me and I just kind of hear her in in your words mm. when you oh. say that <laughs> Thank you, Ari. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm so happy I'm here too. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, come on. There's more to see. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite places to sit. This is right at the end of Gallagher Cove. Wow. Oh my goodness. So it's beautiful low bank. The kayaks are just over there, and so we literally just slip right into the water. The um, harbor seals come right in, and on more than one occasion have come right up to my feet on the grassy bank over there to say hello. It's really quite extraordinary. world's you. natural skittles <laughs> right here taste the nature right. really good so brenda thank you so much for such an incredible walk through the forest mm. and for taking us through the one center this is such an incredible experience such an amazing way to spend our saturday Aww. late afternoon <laughs> and your services here are so incredibly important what are some takeaways that you can tell our viewers who might be experiencing and feeling uh, the impacts of what is happening in our world today? Mm, yeah, it's a really challenging time for all of us all around the world. And I think one of the most helpful things to remember is that we're all in this together, right? And everything I do impacts you in one way or another and it impacts everyone around the world. So the mission of the One Center is to support and encourage the health and well-being of all by offering services that are evidence-based to support health and well-being for body, for mind, and for our soul. Absolutely. Yeah. And how, if someone wanted to participate in your program, how can they reach you? Oh, well, just check out my website, which is Our New Experiences, or you could Google Dr. Butterfield. Either one will bring you to one Our New Experience, right here on Gallagher Cove. And if you are interested in solar energy and want ways to reach your solar energy goals, you can definitely contact South Sound Solar. Thank you so much, Ari. It's been a pleasure to have you here today. Oh, it's been so lovely, Brenda. Thank you so much. You're welcome.